Hey folks, thanks for stopping by the shop today. Man, I'm excited today. Santa Claus done came early. Dropped old rooster off something he'd been wanting for a long time. And I've been cleaning carburetors the old way. Been scrubbing on them on the bench. Throwing them in Kim buckets. Got me a new ultrasonic cleaner. Been doing a little studying up. And I think I found a product to clean them carburetors up in that thing without turning them black. We're going to give it a try today. Formula 88. I ain't cracked the lid on it. Don't know. We're going to mix some up, see what happens. I got old nasty carburetor over there we're going to try out. Let's see what happens with it. I got high hopes. All right, I got this little carburetor broke down. I'm not going to reuse this carburetor. I got a new one. This is a McCooney carburetor. <laughs> it actually goes on a 1983 Easy Go golf cart. But all I've done is blow it off with a little compressed air, broke it down. I am going to leave the uh, bowl gasket in there. I want to see how it reacts with the, uh, with the cleaner. It, uh, put a dog on bowl. Let's see what's going on. I really don't want to do any scrubbing on it. I want it left just like it is. Try and give me a good idea as to how good this cleaner will work for me in the future. That little ultrasonic is something I've been wanting for a while. I think this will be a good test. Let's mix it up. I come up with my own little formula I want to try. Let's see what it looks like. Formula 88. Sounds good to me. Shows it cleans all kind of things on here. I checked on it. Not supposed to be... Uh, Corrosive to my aluminum products or whatever the devil they make carburetors out of. This is a mason jar with water. I don't know what y'all was thinking it was. This is water. I'd take a drink, but y'all still wouldn't believe me. So let's mix it up. I'm looking at putting 16 ounces of this product. Put my carburetor in here and fill it the rest of the way up with water. I really don't want to do a whole tank just for one carburetor. That little uh, ultrasonic I got, not huge, is six liter. It don't hold no six liters, I found out. Let's see what this looks like. Got my protective seal here. Let's get rid of that. We're done being protected. Smells nice. Purple color. Where did that get me? That's 12 ounces. We'll try 16. I don't know why. I just, that should give me close to a 50 50 mix minus what uh, room the carburetor actually takes up. Oh yeah, that worked out pretty good. Let's get some pieces in there. I don't know if this carburetor fit in that doggone jar. Heck no. Look at that. All the best laid plans in the world ain't gonna make up for a small jar. Let's do something else. I got an idea. I got this plastic jar. I wasn't real happy with it. It didn't really seal good, but pieces do fit in there, so we'll give it a try. One of these goodies up. Let's get them down in there. I ain't gonna put them in any certain old way. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get them in there. I really wanted to use that glass jar. I guess if I took time to take that linkage off, it'd fit down in there. Let's see what this gives me. Hey, 
far as I'm concerned, that'll work. We'll put the little lid on. I'm going to run it 15 minutes to see what happens. Let's go. Here we are. We got it heated up 59 degrees Celsius. Y'all can Google that tell me what that's set at. But I think I want to turn the heat off at this point. And uh, I got it set for 15 minutes. Just going to set it down in there. Let's let it run. The dog on lid ain't going to fit on there now. Ooh, that's hot. Fifteen minutes of my life. Let's shut the dog thing off. That's gonna make a racket, don't it? Let's see what we got. Pull it up out of there. Golly. That one. Oh. Solution show is nasty. Let's go over here and take it out and see what them pieces look like, folks. Man. Let's go look. Well, man, I hope I'm impressed here. That was going in. That stuff is hot. I can't believe that, that uh, ultrasonic, actually, I turned the heat off, and it held temperature. Wow. Y'all look at that. I ain't put a brush on it. I ain't wiped this stuff off. That, that, that that's pretty impressive. Let's uh let's take a look at that bowl. That looks good. We got uh we got the trash out of it. Let's see what that that's a bit, that's a hole in the carburetor down there. But as far as any dirt, by golly, I don't see nothing. Let me get you in there a little closer. Yeah, she ain't a pretty carburetor. That's why it's getting replaced. We're just testing out the solution and the cleaner. That's the first time I ever turned it on. What else we got? What's the body look like? piece of brass out of there. That shit. Oh, I'm cover it hot. I don't know if y'all can tell on that camera. I'm pretty happy with that. And I still got some dirt caked up in here. You know what? I believe that after being on that thing that long, look at that, it just wiped off, folks. It just settled in there. Just rinse it off in there. No, I ain't wearing no gloves. You want to wear gloves, put gloves on. I ain't going to wear none today. I'm pretty impressed with that. I think that's my mix. I don't see. I think that's what I'm going with, folks. That Formula 88 wasn't expensive either. I gave at my big blue box store a very reasonable price for it. I don't want to say what I gave because it might be more in your neighborhood. Your big, your, maybe your big orange box store's got it too. Ain't no dirt coming off on me. And I know that thing nasty. Just stick my hand in there. Pull the shaft. Nozzle. I can see right down through there. 
I don't know what else to expect from him. I'm happy. I don't see any discoloration on my carburetor. Tell you what, that doggone stuff stays hot. I want to reuse that little clamp though. Remember my doggone little old screws come out looking really good. They're like new money right there. Shoot. Pour this stuff off. Shoot the devil out of it. See what that butterfly looked like. See that. Butterfly is shiny. Got a little. Nah. I'm happy with that. I'd probably rinse that off with some fresh water if I was going to rebuild it. I want to check that little rubber piece on the end of that needle. Make sure I got it all. Got a little wash there I wanted to throw in dry. See what that stuff looked like in a clear jug again. Now, folks, that's on a 50 50 mix. I could see through that before we started. I like it. Y'all got any questions? Let me know. I'm going to give this another run on another carburetor here in a few minutes. I might even use some of that same solution. Now, I don't think one carburetor hurt it. It sure took a bunch of gunk off. I couldn't even turn that while ago. All right. I'm just going to give you my final thoughts on it. I never rinse this off. It doesn't feel tacky, sticky, feel like it's got some chemical residue on it. It just looks clean. Never used one of those ultrasonic cleaners before. I'm going to be using that again. I like it. Keep my hands out of that corrosive chemical, that old chem bucket. Chem bucket served me well for years. $20. $17 a pop on sale. Y'all gone. I think I'm done with that. I like this stuff. Hey, drop us a note down there in the comments. What y'all like to use? Old Rooster like to know. Shall I run across something better? Well, I'm going to stick with this. Formula 88. It did me right today. Well, we're going to give it another try here in just a few minutes. Hey, think about it. Got anything out of this? How about one of these? One of these subscribes ain't going to hurt. Let's see y'all next time. Get started on this one.